What is nanokinase? Well, it's, a, um, it's what we call a proteolytic enzyme. Proteolytic means it will eat or break down protein, okay? Uh, it was first discovered like in, 18, in 1987. Uh, the Japanese uh, discovered it. They kind of, there's a food traditional to Japan. It's called natto. It's a, 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 they call it a fermented soy cheese. Everybody says it smells horrible, real slimy stuff. You know, well, it's a it's staple a, in Japan. It's a staple they in say Japan. if you don't grow up with it, yeah, we won't want yeah, to eat it. Yeah, I mean, that's, what, that's, so that's what I've been told I've by a lot of people. Yeah, yeah they, they say it's a definitely an acquired taste. But needless to say that, you know, that they were just looking at, you know, food sources of things that the, the Japanese people do because they live long. I mean, they have nice longevity, uh, a lot better than we do. So they were looking at things like that, and they found that this, this particular food, natto, had a, that's where it got its name, was from the, the soy food, and it had a, an enzyme in it that's part of the fermentation process, breaks down, and it actually had some what we call proteolytic or breaking down protein uh, properties. So they started studying it. Now that was in 87. And you fast forward to today and, and the research is like, oh my God, I could not carry all the research. I, we couldn't have, a pickup truck wouldn't carry all the mm -hmm. research. Really? No. Uh -uh. So, you know, I brought a few things that was printed out, some of the most recent stuff. But this stuff is, is, is it's extraordinarily well researched. I mean, extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of the key behind it. And some of the things that they've tried with it, some of the things that they've done with it, um, it's just been uh, amazing. Some of the things that they've done with it, we've been doing with it mm -hmm. clinically and seen things. You know, it's kind of one of those things that you kind of stumble onto clinically because you read a tidbit, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you read a tidbit of information and say, hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe it will do such and such. And so we've, over the years, we've developed a lot of use for it. Um, got a lot of people that take it. I take it. You take it. Uh -huh. um, I take it. And she takes it. I take it preventatively. I don't take it for anything. But, but what are the benefits of it? You well, one of, the, one of the things that, that one of the reasons that we kind of started you on it was you mentioned a long time ago had a TIA. I did. Which, which a TIA is kind of a, a mini stroke. Mini stroke. A, mini stroke. A, a baby, 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 a baby, clot. baby, baby stroke. Right. It's right. a baby clot. Yeah, right. It's like a grain of sand or that small. causes very yeah. temporary problems yeah. in the brain. Yeah. So, but if you had that little bitty bitty clot, then you're prone to having more. Yeah. So that's why we put you on it. Yeah. Is because you had had a TIA and that's why we used it. It actually, it, it well, that's one of its big benefits. Is actually, it is, I mean, yeah. the, the research, stacks of research, I mean, it's not just us saying it. Stacks. They call it the clot buster. It resolves clots. Wow. That, that was kind of what was interesting. You know, we saw that it's been, it came out several years back where one single dose, mm -hmm. just give somebody a single, very low dose, single low dose, and, and see the benefits. And, and they measured these benefits in, in, you know, how thick the blood is, you know, the, can, it, can it break up a clot? Yeah, I mean, it can. And it's, it's as effective as some of the drugs. As a matter of fact, they compared it to some of the drugs they use for that. And it is safe. The key, what they the say is it's actually as effective, but much safer than a lot of the medications used to dissolve clots. Right. So it really is something that as people age, yeah. um, because the other benefit, okay, we, we talk about clot busting, definitely the other benefits is resolving plaque in the arteries. Right. Actually reversing some of the plaque, which they'll tell you can't be done, but the research here tells you something totally different. And we see it different clinically. Yeah, th this particular, I mean, in this particular research that was just done um, and, and it's called the Frontiers in Cardiovascular Medicine. So it's not some, it's not, you know, Mad Magazine, okay? Um, <laughs> and this was just published in August of this year. Okay, so and when, they, when they looked at it, they had over, over a thousand people, almost 1,100 people involved in this thing. <clears throat> and they actually gave them pretty good doses of this stuff uh, because they found that, you know, over the years, we started out you know, years ago using very small doses, very effective but they've kept increasing doses. And in animal studies, they virtually couldn't give these poor little animals enough to really harm them. So they tried in humans and they kept going up on doses. In this particular study that was just published, they showed that, that they could actually reverse in 77% of the population that they had in that study where they had known plaque in an artery, the carotid arteries, et cetera. And they actually reversed that, they stopped it and then reversed it. 
Wow. Over a, over and a we period have, of years. And we have seen we the see same that. thing clinically. Right. Over all the years, we've had people that, you know, have plaque problems, carotids, whatever, and after taking it for about a year, it's not overnight, but I mean, after about right. a year, it's almost gone. And some people, it just d decreases it greatly. Some people, it gets rid of it. So, and what, you know, as you're aging, what better thing to keep your arteries clear <laughs> yeah, really. and not have a stroke. So it is definitely something that I think, I always tell people when I talk to them, I think almost everybody over a certain age should be taking it. Yeah. yeah. This final article is just published in August. It shows just how good it can get. You know, when you start talking about reversing plaque buildup in 77% of the participants, that's amazing. That is now they did show adding they they also something else we always use we always, we always use, use right. with our NATO advantage is vitamin K2, and they also did mm -hmm. studies with K2 without K2 and did say K2 made it work better work on better. reversing plaque right just for that part of it yeah um, so reversing the plaque the K2 is important to do with it right so it's now, not the same as K2 no oh no no no, no. no it's totally now, different it's totally different. Um, some natto contains some K2, but not much. Mm -hmm. it, it is definitely oh, beneficial to add more small. to it. Um, also, on this last research, mm -hmm. they showed other cardiovascular benefits. Basically, I've seen articles that say, oh my gosh, this is good for everything cardiovascular you can talk about. You know, I mean, it does help circulation. That was one of the things, which again, who doesn't need circulation in, helped and increased as they age. Right. Um, so it helps circulation has been shown to help normalize blood pressure, not just drop it like a rock and make it too low or anything, but normalize it and bring it down some because it actually does make the blood, blood flow easier and help the circulation. If you say, what does NATO do? It helps the cardiovascular system. Not only that, okay. I mean, yeah, okay, we, we, mm -hmm. I mean, it's no doubt about it. We wanna take something that's really good for our heart. I mean, come on, gotta have your heart, right? Oh yeah. What's something else you gotta have? Your brain. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, that's another area. Here's, the other research that's come out about this stuff, and you know they talk about, like in Alzheimer's, they talk about those neurofibrils in there and they get this amyloid beta plaque that builds up inside the, the brain. And they've shown that natto can actually break it down or degrade it. So it actually breaks it down. So it's good for the heart and it's great for the brain. Almost everything we've talked about in the past, if it is good for the heart, it's usually good Typically for the brain. Typically it's good for the brain. So the and brain and the heart kind of so go it, together. You know, when you look at it, you know, here's like, okay, this is a miracle. I mean, you know, we look at it like, oh my gosh, this is, mm -hmm. this is a miracle compound. It's close, it's very close. Uh, especially when you see something like that, when you start talking about, well, okay, it's really good for my heart. And, and like I said, we've seen, you know, we've got uh, numerous people. Oh gosh, we have tons on it. That we've, you know, that we've put on, but we've got numerous people that we've put on it and actually did the, the similar type studies that they did in the re big research. Of course, we're limited in our way of doing it. But uh, where we've taken a patient and had a pre-test done to see how much carotid buildup and swollen they had. And then every six months have a, 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 an ultrasound, you know, done to see how, what kind of progress we're getting. And we've seen some dramatic decreases in, in, multiple, in multiple people, not in just multiple one. People. Not just right. one. So we see it in, in if they do it regularly. You right. know, the thing is, is with a lot of people out there, and no matter what we use, there's the people that I will take it occasionally. Well, you, you don't want to, if you're doing it for something like that, you don't want to take it occasionally. You want to be consistent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you do it consistent and you do it at the doses that we tell you, and especially if you add the K2 with it. Right. Now that I take every other day. Yeah. Right. Because, yeah. K2. Right. Like I say, it's, it's uh, relatively unknown. I mean, because you mentioned NATO to people and they look at you kind of funny. Like, I mean, we've huh? used it for so many years that we don't think it's unknown. No. But we have actually, most people, when you mention it to them and they've not one that's taken it before, they're like, what? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, it's not something you just go get down there at one of the big box stores. I never question. I just, yeah, you know, it's I right, right, right. I, you know, I, and I, I can say that, uh, you know, I've been under their guidance for, what, eight years now? Yeah, I guess. About eight years we've been doing this, and, uh, and, and I have felt the best in those eight years than I've felt since I was in my 30s. Yeah. Because of, uh, well, a lot of know. people, a lot of the people that take the nano. So yeah. they feel better because their circulation's better. I mean, when you have yeah, better right. circulation, you have better everything. Well, you know, and I take I take yeah. other things as well, omega threes, and, right? Uh, you sure, know, sure, sure. I mean, you do a lot that. of cardiovascular things exactly, because you've had but I work out and everything. Right, so, right, uh, right. Uh, you know, so it's it's a great help for me. But uh, yeah, I feel feel so much better.
Good. And like I said, a lot of people that take it come in and say, oh my gosh, my legs feel so much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the circulation. Because I mean, you know, a lot of people out there that do watch our show is in a little bit older population. Mm -hmm. And you know, they know what it's like when they're getting older and their legs are hurting more and they feel like they don't have the circulation they need. And so the NATO, when they do start taking it, they can see a difference usually in those symptoms. Right. And so you usually can tell mm -hmm. within the first month that you're taking it, but I mean, it's really something that the long term is what helps with it. So, so people always ask, I don't care what we put them on. Do I have to take this forever? Well, if you want to keep having the benefits, yes. Yeah, NATO is just, uh, it's just amazing to hear. I was just reading up this morning when I was making, taking my, uh, making my notes. It's like, wow. Yeah. It, it's good. It, it, a lot it, of stuff on there. It really is a wow. You know, when you start reading about it and, and you know, it's, it's rare to run into people who know much about it. And yet, you know, it's it's out there. The the research is just overwhelming, and now it's, it hasn't filtered down into mainstream America yet, but it's coming. And you know, in Europe, uh, they use it a lot. Asia uses a tremendous <coughs> amount yeah. of it. Uh, the Japanese use are huge with it. Believe it or not, the Chinese are big yeah. with it now. Even They've, a lot of the research is coming from other countries yeah. because they are using it a lot. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, the U.S. is behind a lot in all the alternative treatments. Yes. And that's where we got to do the research and let people know what's out there. I'm Dr. Fox, and I want to thank you for watching this YouTube video. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, so you'll be notified on any upcoming videos that we have coming up. And thank you again for watching our YouTube videos.